What's up y'all? Back here with a update on the Malibu project. As you can see I've been doing a little work on the engine. Uh, got the heads pulled off of it. I cleaned it a little bit. Needs a lot more cleaning. Hit it with pressure washer but it didn't really get it all that clean. It's gonna have to take uh, some degreaser and probably a brush to get everything off. Um, when I bought the engine, it didn't come with the intake because it had a fire. So I got a free transmission in place of it. But when the guy uh, that pulled the engine out, he told me that he really had to do a lot of braking to get the intake off and that he would pull the heads off. As you can see, there's a lot of grit, especially in this cylinder. I guess that's pieces of the intake. So it's a good thing I took his advice and pulled the heads off. One thing that I did notice, the passenger side, the pistons are a little dirtier and they've all got this area, black area toward the top. It almost has a wet look to it. I don't know if that's common for the engines or not. Not really worried about it since it's on all the pistons. As you can see, these over here have definitely a different color to them. So we're going to be cleaning that up. I may take a, a wire brush, go over the tops of the pistons, and I'm going to try just some carburetor cleaner first. See how that does. So we're getting ready for the cam swap on it. Probably gonna paint it Chevy orange. Um, just cause I guess I've never had a Chevy orange engine. <laughs> and it's going in kind of a, I guess old school now. ADs are starting to become classics now. So, just a little idea of what we're going to be doing. I don't really have to went into detail on the engine. So, <clears throat> got a pile of parts here. Uh, a couple trips of PTC. Torque converter. Turbo 400 transmission. Um, that's the free core that I got in place of the intake. So I really went overkill, I guess, on the transmission. It's got a JW Ultra Bell. It's got manual valve body, uh, Pro Mod drum. It can basically take anything that I want to throw to it. They went, kind of suggested that based on what I'm planning on doing in the future, so might as well spend the money once. Uh, Victor Jr. intake, uh, Holly oil pan, Holly carburetor, 750 double pumper, got a cam motion cam and valve springs, uh, cam motion does um, specific stuff for LS now uh, and specifically for um, the carbureted LS engines. Uh, the Holly oil pan 
a little more expensive than the GM Performance oil pan. The um, GM Performance hangs a little bit lower. I went with this new Holly. It's good to a four inch stroke if I want to do that in the future. Uh, I already had the carburetor bought for the 350 that's currently in the engine. So the um, I was kind of in a situation where I didn't want to throw away parts. So decided to stay with carburetor on this. Really not throw away parts, but I had brand new parts and I obviously wanted to use them. So instead of trying to uh, go through the hassle of sending them back or anything like that, I didn't order a mail order, so order them from a local shop. Didn't want to go through the hassle of that. That's kind of the uh, update on the engine parts list. Uh, the camshaft is the junkyard dog that cam motion makes. I think the duration at 50 is 232-244 exhaust. Uh, over 600 lift. I can't remember exact lift. but. Uh, should make for a nice lopy idle and uh, make some power with this 6.0. Uh, the heads look pretty good. Intake ports are really dirty. Got a lot of build up in them. So, they'll need some cleaning on that. Looks like I possibly may need a valve job. As you can see, looks like this valve's been leaking some. So, that's kind of where I'm at on that. Unfortunately, that stuff happens. Anytime you buy a used engine, you don't know really what you're going to get. Um, for guys who want to do it on cheap, you know, they can leave the heads on the engine. Don't pull them off and uh, just kind of roll the dice. But I was kind of in a situation where I had to with the intake situation on this. So that's just kind of an update of where things are at and where they're progressing. I hope to get some work done this week, get moving along. Waiting on headers. Uh, that's one thing that's really held me up and why I hadn't really worked on it a whole lot. Headers supposed to came in last week of June. I ordered in the middle of June. And, you know, last uh, I finally called and ordered from JEGS. They told me they would ship August 1st. And then last week of July. I get an email saying they're gonna ship August 10th. Holly's website says even later. So I don't know, I may have to do something different on that. I went with the whole Holly system to make everything fit correctly. That way I don't spend a lot of time uh, trying to move the engine back, forth, up, down to make everything fit. And uh, for whatever reason, Holly slash hooker decides that they're not gonna make the uh, LS headers for the uh, Malibu G bodies until they have a large enough order for them. So, you know, it's really not a good business practice, in my idea, for them to just make a set, uh, make headers as they're ordered. You know, unless you're going to really make them when they're ordered, uh, they should have some on on the shelf in stock, but. You know, how much you can do about it. So, that's the uh, situation I'm at right now and kind of where we're at in the process. Uh, any questions, comments, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, if you're interested in this build and this project, 
uh, subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks y'all. See you later.